Check on your local forecast. Excessive heat warning in effect until 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time Thursday. Rest of today, partly cloudy. Highs around 110. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Heat index readings 110 to 113. Tonight, mostly clear. Lows in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Heat index readings 104 to 107. Thursday, mostly sunny. Highs around 109. South winds around 10 miles per hour. Heat index readings 110 to 113. Thursday night, mostly clear. Lows in the lower 80s. South winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Friday, mostly sunny. Highs around 107. South winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Friday night, mostly clear. Lows around 80. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs around 105. Saturday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 80s. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs around 103. Sunday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 70s. Monday, partly cloudy. Highs around 102. Monday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 70s. Tuesday, partly cloudy. A 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 102. The following is a public information statement. Heat emergency continues over four state area. Heat safety rules. A very dangerous heat wave is occurring across the region this week as an upper level ridge of high pressure dominates the weather pattern. As a result, afternoon high temperatures will climb into the 104 to 110 range this week. Some of these temperatures are near all-time record highs. The heat combined with the humidity will create very dangerous and even deadly heat indexes of 110 to 120 for most of the four state area. Overnight low temperatures will likely remain around 80 degrees or warmer, which will not offer much in the way of relief. Because of the higher heat index values, the National Weather Service continues to have an excess of heat warning in effect. Here are some impacts due to the heat. Many teams are beginning their football workouts this week, and the National Weather Service strongly urges folks to be educated on the signs of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Football practices and other outdoor activities may have to be moved indoors during the hot time of the day. Symptoms of heat illnesses. Here are a few common signs of heat exhaustion that should be monitored. Profuse sweating, weakness, nausea, headache, lightheadedness, and muscle cramps. The symptoms of heat stroke are high body temperature above 105, hot and dry skin, rapid and strong pulse, and possible unconsciousness. Heat stroke is an emergency that requires immediate medical attention. The elderly and very young are most at risk and should be checked on often. However, with temperatures at these levels, even healthy adults are at risk if working outside for extended periods of time because the body is losing a lot of water trying to stay cool. Here are a few heat safety rules. Drink plenty of warm bath for the conditioned places. Dress in lightweight and light colored clothing. Slow down and take it easy. Do not get too much sun. Never leave anyone or any pet in a close vehicle. So, how bad has it been? Tyler, Texas has experienced 36 consecutive days of 100 degree maximum temperatures, including every day in July, breaking the previous record of 20. The average monthly temperature for Tyler, Texas in July was 90.9, making it the all-time warmest month on record for Tyler going back to 1896. To put this in perspective, we all may remember the heat wave in Dallas of 1980. Dallas had 42 consecutive days of 100 degree days and 69 total 100 degree days for the summer of 1980. The all-time warmest month ever for Shreveport was July 1998 with an average temperature of 88.5. This past July 2011, in Shreveport was the second warmest month ever, with an average monthly temperature of 88.1 degrees. The warmest summer ever in Shreveport was in 1881 with an average temperature of 86.3. The year of 1881 also had the most number of 100 degree days in Shreveport, with 47. Is there any relief in sight? Most areas will be at or above 100 degrees for highs through early next week. Extended range models are indicating that bridge could shift west early next week, which could offer some relief and allow for at least a chance of showers to return. At 11 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time, 1500 UTC, the center of Tropical Storm Emily was located near latitude 16.7 north, longitude 69.7 west. 
Emily is moving toward the west near 14 miles per hour. A turn to the northwest is expected later today. On the forecast track, the center of Emily will move across western Hispaniola Lake today and tonight, and into the southeastern Bahamas and Turkmen and Caicos Islands on Thursday. Maximum sustained winds are 50 miles per hour, with higher gusts. Little change in strength is forecast today before the center reaches the western portion of Hispaniola, followed by weakening as the center moves over the high day. Some re-strengthening is possible after the center moves away from Hispaniola. Tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 115 miles to the north and east of the center. Estimated minimum central pressure is 1,006 millibars, 29.71 inches. Here's the tropical weather outlook. For the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico, the National Hurricane Center is issuing advisories on Tropical Storm Emily, located about 145 miles south-southeast of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. Elsewhere, tropical cyclone formation is not expected during the next 48 hours. Here's the hazardous weather outlook for portions of south-central Arkansas, southwest Arkansas, north-central Louisiana, northwest Louisiana, southeast Oklahoma, east Texas and northeast Texas. Through this afternoon and tonight, an excess of heat warning is in effect for today. Temperatures will range from 104 to 112 degrees, with heat index values reaching into the 110 to 120 degree range. Precautions to protect against the heat will be needed today for extended time spent outdoors or in an insufficiently cool building. A few isolated thunderstorms may be possible, mainly over the eastern half of the region. Gusty winds and frequent lightning will accompany the stronger storms. For the period Thursday through Tuesday, little if any rain will occur during the next few days, as the upper ridge remains parked directly over the four state region. As a result, High temperatures will continue to soar well above 100 degrees across the region. Precautions to protect against the heat will be needed through at least Saturday. Spotter activation will not be needed this afternoon or tonight. An excessive heat warning remains in effect until 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time Thursday. Event, temperatures today and Thursday will range from 104 to 112 degrees. These very hot temperatures will combine with elevated humidity levels to produce heat index values between 110 and 120 degrees. Timing. Heat index values will reach or exceed 110 degrees around the lunchtime hour today and begin on Thursday. Impact. The risk for heat-related illnesses will be high, especially for those who work and play outdoors or in insufficiently cold buildings. Take extra precautions if you work or spend time outside. When possible, reschedule strenuous activities to early morning or evening. Now the signs and symptoms of heat exhaustion and heat stroke, such as cramps, nausea, and headache with profuse sweating, or worse, no sweating with a hot, dry skin and dizziness or confusion. It is best to wear lightweight and lose sitting glory when possible, and drink plenty of water before, during, and after exposure to the heat. To reduce risk during outdoor work, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration recommends scheduling frequent rest breaks in shaded or air-conditioned environments. Anyone overcome by heat should be moved to a cool and shaded location. Heat stroke is an emergency. Call 911. You are listening to Weather Radio, Station WXK36, broadcasting in Tyler on 162.475 MHz. Here's a look at local weather conditions as of 11 a.m. At the top of the hour, skies were mostly sunny in Tyler. The temperature was 96 degrees at the regional airport. The dew point was 68, making the relative humidity 39%, producing a heat index of 101. Winds were variable at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.93 inches instead. In Longview, skies were sunny with a temperature of 98 degrees. The dew point was 67, making the relative humidity 36%, producing a heat index of 102. Winds were west at 10 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.90 inches in solid. Once again in Tyler, it was 96 degrees with mostly sunny skies at 11 a.m. 